So hello, hello. Hi. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. I was speaking with uh, the the coffee uh, bartender and all the different uh, <laughs> person around your your booth in the, the Swiss Tech uh, the Swiss Tech booth in Vila Tech. Yeah. And uh, I asked uh, what is the best project to speak uh, with after the the sport uh, inclusion activity that we have done. And they mentioned your project that I don't know. Okay. And so, can you please present yourself and what is the project about? Okay, sure. They were totally right. <laughs> this was the place to be. Uh, so we are Onward Medical, and at Onward Medical, we are focused on helping people with spinal cord injuries regain movement, function, and independence. So what does that mean? Like, uh, we're trying to help people who are paralyzed right now, who can't move their arms anymore, who can't walk anymore, to regain some of those possibilities. For this, we have developed arc therapy. Arc therapy is electrical stimulation of the spinal cords. And we can deliver this arc therapy in two ways. There's like an external platform, which is RTX. And here, what we will do is we will connect this device with electrodes placed on the outside of the neck. And like this, we can stimulate the spinal cord during rehabilitation sessions. And this results in that people can more better, like move their arms, have more finger control, etc. This device is currently under on the review with the FDA, and we hope to go commercial later this year. We have also another platform, which is the one you see here. That's an implantable device. So it's the same, but like basically you have a small pulse generator that is sending electrical signals to the spinal cords via electrodes that are inserted directly into the spine. So depending on the area of the spinal cord that we're going to stimulate, we can activate different different uh, functions again. If we stimulate higher, we can help with upper arm mobility. If we go lower, you have trunk control, you have uh, blood pressure management. If you go lower, you can even help people to walk again. That couldn't, uh, that couldn't uh, do this anymore. Okay. And so, in, uh, so this product is aimed for uh, people that will buy or for companies that will buy this system or hospitals? Or yeah, so it's, it's two things. So both devices have a little bit of a different audience. With this device, which is going to go to market first, we're targeting first the rehabilitation hospitals where people with paralysis go to train, go to exercise. So that will be the first target. And then also people can buy it to take it home and to keep training at home with that stimulation ongoing. This device will be more focused towards hospitals because it needs to be implanted. So that's, we will always look more for a physician to, to buy the product for us. Okay. And uh, so this device is the only one that is available right now. Are there any other? For this, we are the first company that are currently no solutions like this available for, for people with paralysis in the world. So this is going to be a first in the kind first, okay. of a solution. Okay. Something that even speaks more to the imagination, even as we, we combine this device with a brain-computer interface. So we have already in, had the case where we had somebody implanted with a chip into the brain. That chip recorded the signals of the brain, like, I want to walk. These signals were translated to this device, and then that creates like a, the movement pattern. So we created a, a full integrated system with that. That's super nice. Okay, well, perfect. Good. Thank you. Thank you.